This is a great example of a question where if you've memorized the right stuff, uh, this is a two second question that involves almost no work. I'll show you that solution first. But it's also a question where if you didn't, we can use the calculator to help us. And so there really is no excuse for getting this wrong. Everyone needs to get this question right. Even though it's the second to last question. In theory, it's the second hardest question, but everyone should be getting it right. Let's, let's take a look. So they're giving us this, uh, this quadratic. It is in what's known as vertex form. Um, and they're asking us for what value of x does f of x reach its minimum. And vertex and minimum are basically synonyms. The vertex is the point where a parabola turns. I'll show you that in a second. Oop, blurry. There we go. Okay. I'll show you that in a second. Um, but uh, basically, if we know how to read this form, we should know both the x and y coordinates of the vertex. In this case, the vertex is going to be um, negative 7, positive 4. So when they say what for what value of x does it reach its minimum, they're asking for the negative 7, so that is our answer. Just to be clear, the vertex form is y equals, in general, it's y equals x minus h squared plus k, where hk is the vertex. So notice there's a minus built into this equation. That's why I reversed the sign for the 7. It was a positive 7 before. Now it's going to be a negative 7 as our actual value. So here, x plus 7 squared plus 4, right? The, the h is going to have a flipped sign. So negative 7, but the k, the y coordinate, is going to be 4. So Again, I wouldn't write any of this down. I would just know this because I know this formula and I can read it very easily and you should know it. The SAT loves to talk about vertex, so it's gonna come up. But we can also do some, some uh, graphing to understand this in a different way. So let me put this in here. And we could change f of x to y, but in case you are kind of worried about doing that, we also have this ABC button on the bottom left that lets us add in the uh, word like, uh, letter like f, and then we can just kind of do it as written. So f of x equals um, parentheses, x plus 7, close parentheses, squared, plus 4. And there we have our parabola. And um, let's move it into the center of the frame here. And you can see the vertex is also going to be something that the Desmos calculator uh, lets us highlight easily. Um, X and Y intercepts, intersection points, and vertices, vertexes, those are going to be things that kind of just you can tap, usually. Um, so there it is, negative 7, 4, exactly what we said. The, the key piece here, and, and I want to be really clear about the language, is that they're asking for something that's a little different than I think what your instinct is going to want to provide. When we talk about maximums and minimums, our instinct is to say what is the maximum, what is the minimum. Right, so in this case, the minimum, minimum, am I spelling that right? Minimum of f of x is 4. That's the y coordinate, right? The minimum of f of x is 4, right? That, that green line goes down to 4, hits that, that number, and then pops back up, right? So that's as low as it goes. That's its minimum. And that, I think, is just what we naturally think of when we hear words like minimum and maximum. Like, what is that, that level that it gets to? That is not what they're asking for. In fact, that's uh, usually not what they're going to ask for. They want it in a different way. And so the question is clear about it, but I understand why people might get this wrong by doing the wrong thing. So just to be clear, the minimum of f of x is 4, but the we would say maybe the minimum occurs at x equals negative 7, or maybe even get rid of the x equals part and just say the minimum occurs at negative 7. That is a way of talking about like where uh, left and right, horizontally, the minimum happens. Um, again, they are clear that they want the x value. For what value of x? Right. So if it helps you, write down the entire point, the negative 7, 4. Write it as a coordinate. That way you can then be like, all right, well, which one do they want? Do they want the X or do they want the Y? And hopefully the wording of the question and just seeing both will help you identify which one they want. 
another way to think of it is the later you get in the test, the more likely they're going to want the X value, but you shouldn't rely on that. Um, but there's a lot here in this question. I hope I reviewed Vertex form in a, in a helpful way. Um, I do think that the fact that you can plug this into Desmos is why everybody should get this right. You can just see the minimum without having to understand conceptually why this equation provides it. See it, click it, and then hopefully just sorting through X and Y, every single person, no matter how good or bad you are at math, can get a question like this right.